Recently, I've been doing a remodel here in the office, and that also means upgrading my 3D printers. I upgraded my 3D printers, at least a couple of them, to the K1 that you see there in the middle from Creality, and the Bamboo X1 Carbon, as you see on the left. Now, the K1 is what we're talking about today because a lot of people have hit or miss opinions about this printer that is right now $379 in Micro Center. Perhaps the best deal on a Core XY printer at the moment. But when I got the printer and I started to print on it, much like I am right now, a little bit of a benchy if you could see that, I ran into some major issues. The issues that I ran into were this. The print would start great and it's only a 17 minute print. It was starting to look good layer by layer. Beautiful prints, beautiful lines, and then all of a sudden, layer shift. Meaning the benchy was no longer here, the benchy was over here. What causes a layer shift, I wonder? And as I start to look at the printer, I can't see anything apparent that would cause this issue until I realized what the issue was. And I wanna share it with you real quick so that if you have a problem with your K1 printer, you could check out this obvious, obvious fix. Now, I do also wanna say that we all have different skill levels and there should be no hate toward learning things, but it is important that you check this before you start printing because this, could actually damage your printer or the components inside your printer if you have the power supply setting switched incorrectly. See, 20 years ago, 25 years ago, if you went to turn on a computer and the power supply was set to 230 volts, which is not the standard here in the US, the computer just wouldn't turn on. And you'd be like, well, what's going on? Check the back of the computer, see that the power supply was 230, switch it over to 115. Good to go, the computer would turn on. And with the Creality K1, that's not the case. The Creality K1 will attempt to still level out the power or utilize the power that it has, but it will be inconsistent and therefore you will get inconsistent prints as well as, like I said earlier, potentially damage your power supply or the components inside. So once you switch that from over 230, for example, the 115, you're gonna get much better results. Let me show you what I mean. Now you can see this printer is currently printing and we have the power supply set to 230, okay? All my testing here is gonna be exactly the same, meaning I'm gonna use the same filament. I'm not gonna put glue on the bed this time. Uh, the only difference is gonna be we switch it from 230 to 115. And right now we could see that the prints are actually looking pretty good for the first few layers. Let's just give it a few layers, layers, and we'll be right back. Now's a good time to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And right there during printing, you may have noticed that the light went back on or turned off. That is a pretty good indication that the power supply is having issues either regulating the power or providing proper power or voltage to the printer. As you could see, all of a sudden we had a shift in the printing and the lights flickered again and our print essentially was ruined. So what do you do? Well, turn the printer completely off, meaning turn the switch on the back of the printer off, and then find that switch on the side of the printer that says 230 and swap it over to 115. Also, you might notice the sticker on the side there that says, please ensure that your power supply is properly set. I understand that it's there, but it doesn't mean that we're necessarily always gonna look for it. So I wanted to point this out, and now that we switched that power supply over, let's see how our Benchy does. The Benchy turned out pretty good for coming off of the Creality K1. I know white's not the easiest color to see, but then I went and I continued to print for the last week constantly, and I haven't had a problem with layer shift or the lights flickering since then, just to prove that it is in fact the power supply as an issue, more importantly, 230 to 115 volts. Hey, I really hope that this simple quick fix helped you out. If it did, leave a comment below, and thanks for watching the channel. Channel's called Ham Radio, dude, and I hope you have a good day.